Relativity Space is a company with more than just one ambitious project planned for the future. Between Terran 1, Terran R, a unique manufacturing process, and so much more, they're trying to completely change how rockets are built and operated. Currently, the company is only a few months away from the first launch of Terran 1. However, this hasn't stopped them from continuing to make progress on an even bigger rocket named Terran R. Recently, CEO of Relativity Tim Ellis shared some interesting information and images related to the development of Terran R. This included the structure itself, new Aeon R engines, and more. Not to mention a host of other important updates that have happened in recent months. All of which a promising sign for the future of relativity and 3D printing. Terran R will be entirely reusable and capable of launching 20,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit, all created within Relativity's factory of the future. An ambitious endeavor that could turn out to be worth it if the company continues to innovate and try new things. Here I will go more in depth into some of the recent updates on the rocket, what to expect in the future, a general overview, and more. Despite Relativity being very busy in preparation for the first launch of Terran 1, they still have provided a few updates on Terran R in recent months. Starting on August 25th, Tim Ellis tweeted saying, 250,000 plus pounds of thrust 3D printed Aeon R chamber, newest iteration. Development pace increasing and lots more hardware showing up at Relativity Space. Gonna be a beast of an engine. This included an image of a full Aeon R engine chamber that was entirely 3D printed in one piece. Terran R will be outfitted with seven 3D printed Aeon R rocket engines on the first stage alone, while its upper stage will house one Aeon VAC engine. Relativity's engines Aeon 1, Aeon R, and Aeon VAC, just like the rocket structure, are 3D printed, enhancing mission reliability by reducing part count in engine combustion chambers, igniters, turbo pumps, reaction control thrusters, and vehicle pressurization systems. In addition, all Aeon engines use liquid oxygen plus liquid natural gas propellants, which are not only one of the best for rocket propulsion, but also the easiest to eventually make on Mars. In terms of testing, to date, Aeon has completed 500 plus test fires. The next update came just a day later on August 26. Here, Tim Ellis tweeted mentioning, Welcome to the future. However, what was most interesting about this update was the image provided in the tweet. In the photo, you can see a few Terran 1 structures and most interestingly, a 3D printed Terran R dome in the background. Specifically, someone replied to the tweet and asked what the structure in the background was. Tim Ellis replied, Terran R Dev Dome, confirming some of the work already underway on the structure. By fusing 3D printing, artificial intelligence, and autonomous robotics, Relativity is printing its rockets, structures, and engines, which in return significantly reduces touch points and lead times, simplifying the supply chain, and increasing overall system reliability. Relativity is confident that with this approach, they will have the capability to print entire rockets such as Terran R in only 60 days. One last big update to Terran R that happened in the last few months had to do with a future launch contract. On June 30th, Relativity announced that it had signed a multi-year, multi-launch services agreement, or LSA, with OneWeb, the global space-based communications company. Under the agreement, Relativity will launch OneWeb's low-Earth orbit satellites on Terran R, starting in 2025. These launches will support OneWeb's deployment of its Gen 2 satellite network, which will add capacity and fresh capabilities to build upon the initial constellation of 648 satellites the company is currently building out. Terranar will launch OneWeb missions from Launch Complex 16, Relativity's site at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. As a medium-heavy lift, fully reusable launch vehicle made for growing satellite constellation launch demand and eventually multi-planetary transport, Terranar is trying to provide both government and commercial customers affordable access to space, in LEO and beyond. With the addition of its multi-launch agreement with OneWeb, Relativity has a total of five signed customers for Terranar, including multiple launches and totaling more than $1.2 billion in backlog. This is quite a substantial amount of money and a good early sign for the future of Terran R and its opportunities. At the time of this announcement, Tim Ellis commented saying, We are honored to be chosen by OneWeb to help launch their Gen 2 constellation. They have an incredible team, technology, and momentum as a world leader in satellite connectivity with hundreds of operational satellites already in orbit. It is clear that more disruptive launch capacity is needed in the marketplace. Relativity is developing Terran R to fill this additional demand. We cannot wait to plan, execute, and successfully launch these missions together with OneWeb. Now that we know more about some of the recent updates and progress related to Terran R, we can take a closer look at the rocket itself and what makes it so unique. Terran R is a two-stage, 216-foot tall rocket with a 16-foot diameter and a 5-meter payload fairing. This next-generation launch vehicle will be entirely reusable and capable of launching 20,000 kilograms into low Earth orbit. Terran R has unique aerodynamic features with software-generated and optimized structures. 
Relativity's proprietary 3D printing process is enabled by software and data-driven manufacturing, exotic 3D printing materials, and unique design geometries that are not possible with traditional manufacturing, driving a faster rate of compounding progress and iteration in the industry. Relativity points out the different aspects of the rocket were inspired by nature. Components such as the grid fins on the first stage are a good example of this design choice. The ambitious goal of this rocket is to help accommodate the company's growing pipeline of commercial interest and eventually offer customers a point-to-point -point space freighter capable of missions between the Earth, Moon, and Mars. Relativity believes in a future where interplanetary life fundamentally expands the possibilities for human experience. In realizing this audacious vision, the long-term goal is to upgrade humanity's industrial base on Earth and on Mars. They believe in a more inspired future with people thriving on both planets. In the early days of settlement, intelligent automation and lightweight, compact 3D printing are fundamental technologies needed to quickly establish a new society with scarce resources. Terran R is supposed to become one of the first steps in this process. In addition to this, with satellite technology advancements, demand for bandwidth soaring, and satellite constellations representing the largest part of the growing market, Terran R was developed to accommodate the growing demand for large constellation launch services. With a completely novel, top-down approach to 3D printing production, Relativity's rocket design and production has exponentially evolved in the company's six-plus year history. Created in Relativity's factory of the future by the same printers as Terran 1, Terran R has unique aeronautical features and complex structures. These high-tech factories center on Stargate, the world's largest metal 3D printers. Relativity's Stargate printers' patented technology enables an entirely new value chain and innovative structural designs that make Terran 1 and Terran R possible. By developing its factory of the future and rockets together, Relativity is trying to accelerate its ability to improve design, production, quality, and speed. For many decades, aerospace manufacturing has relied on large factories, fixed tooling, complex supply chains, and extensive manual labor to build costly rockets comprised of 100,000 plus parts in two years or longer. To accelerate innovation in the industry, Relativity built its unique factory, the first aerospace platform to automate rocket manufacturing, vertically integrating intelligent robotics, software, and data-driven 3D printing technology. Incorporating Stargate with AI-driven controls, Relativity's factory of the future continuously optimizes production, resulting in greatly compounded quality and time improvements, lower costs, and unique product designs. By now, Relativity has not only begun the general development of Terran R and some of its major components, but they're also printing various structures. As time goes on, we will likely see more frequent updates on this next-generation launch vehicle not to mention the upcoming launch of Terran-1 and the effect it will have on the future of Terran-R. Relativity Space is currently working on a lot of different projects. In addition to the first launch of Terran-1 only months away, the company is continuing to develop and test its bigger brother, Terran-R. This includes some of its structures, Aeon-R engines, and more. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.